Hi everyone, I'm Whitney and welcome back to Home Bar. Today I've taken you to one of my favorite running spots and we are going to do a post run bar stretch. So I always use this bridge as my bar for my stretch. So they're all stretches that come from bar or ballet that are really great for all of the muscles we use in the legs and also the torso, core, shoulders for running. So if you don't have a bar, grab a chair that will work as well and let's get to it. Okay, so this is the railing that I use when I run in the forest here. So if you have something like that similar, if you're at home, a chair is also great. So first we wanna stretch the calf muscles. So just press the ball of the foot and the toes into your bottom of the railing. And then just let yourself kind of lean in towards that bar until you feel that nice stretch through the calf muscle. One more breath. And then we just switch it other side. So just press the top part of that foot in. Heel pressing into the floor. All right. Now to get a little bit of the hips, the quads, the calf muscle again, we're gonna take a lunge. Since it is bar, we're gonna turn it out, make it a little ballet-y. So just turning out that front foot, also turning out that back foot, you're trying to Square off the hips towards your bar. Nice little stretch here through the hip flexor. And then again, you can take one more calf muscle stretch. So press the heel in, lift the toes. Now you can go parallel. And to the other side, same thing. Turn out the foot, square off the hips. And another deep breath in. Exhale out, and then again, one more calf muscle stretch. So just straighten both legs, lean towards that bar, hinge at that waist. All right, now those quads, those definitely need some stretching, so let's take our quad stretch. So grab a hold of one foot. You wanna press your thighs together. So naturally, you're probably separated. Squeeze together. And then also you wanna make sure, maybe naturally the thigh is forward. So you just wanna press it back, keep pressing the foot into the hand. And one more breath. If you have good balance here, you can take the other hand to that foot. And release, other side. Grab a hold of the other foot. Same thing, remember thighs squeezing together pressing that thigh back, maybe even a little pelvic tilt. You always have that bar there if you lose the balance with both hands on the foot. Long through the spine, one more deep breath in. Exhale out. Okay, now we're gonna target the hamstrings. So walk a little farther from your bar or chair, and if possible, you're gonna take that foot all the way up onto the bar. Let me just show you if you don't have that flexibility, instead you're gonna do that same stretch we did earlier, but you're gonna bend the back knee instead of keeping it straight so you can get a really good stretch all the way through the back of that leg. So again, if you can get that foot up, let's take it there. And if that leg is up, reach those arms up, inhale. And then exhale, you're gonna fold. So maybe you're just holding the bar. If you want to release, just let the arms dangle. All right, and then we're gonna bend through that standing leg. So just take a soft little bend and stretch. And bend and stretch. And two more. And one. Okay. Let's just try to get that leg off with control. So engage into the abdominals. Just come into your ballet first arms and try to take a little kick. Take that leg off. If that's not happening, grab the back of the leg, bend the knee, no problem. So let's go to the other side again here, just if you need that reminder. If you can't get that leg up, bend the back knee, straighten the front leg, heel presses in, pulling off that bar. If you can get it up here, inhale up and fold. So really try to relax when you're stretching. This stretch, any stretch you do, 
Take deep breaths. Notice if there's any tension anywhere that's unnecessary, like the jaw or the glutes. And then again, we'll just bend through the standing leg and stretch and bend and stretch. Two more. All right. So go ahead and take this one off with control again. So ballet first, engage into the core, a little lift of that leg, lower. And then let's just get a little opening for the front of the body. So just standing here, interlace the fingers, gaze up, press the hands back. Good, and then just switch it so the opposite finger is outside. Step a little further away from your bar this time. And you're just gonna fold. You can swing it out a little to the right and left. Keep trying to go a little deeper. And then let's bend through the knees and extend. And two. And one. Gently roll this up. Separate those hands, roll those shoulders back. And you're all done. So feel free to watch this video anytime after you've done a run or any sort of cardio. And if you like this video, hit subscribe and check out my Patreon if you'd like to support Home Bar and get more full-length classes. Mm -hmm.